Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of the tutorial. In this part we are going to create an actor and make sure our file structures are right. But before we do any of that, let's make sure our model actually works and shows up right. Let's copy these three files and move them over to the iSphere location. Now in the previous tutorial I forgot to mention that they need to be in a content folder. Go to model and paste the three files here. After doing that open up iSphere, hover over models and type in your number 111. Double click on this one it'll give you a pop-up. Clicking on this one over to the left will make your model show up. You can hold the left click to rotate it and scroll to zoom in. And look at that, it seems like everything is displaying just right. You can now close the program and we can move on. Now we need Breath of the Wild actor tool. Open up the Windows command prompt and type in breath of the wild underscore actor underscore tool. Hit enter. It'll launch the program. We will need to set some settings first. Go to the settings and make sure these are the right folders. For the first two you want to make sure it's in content. For the DLC one you want to make sure it's in 0010. The language I will set to EUEN. The other one has problems for me. Hit accept. After setting the settings, go to file and open vanilla actor. Type in 001 and hit filter. Scroll down till you find the sword. I want sword 001 since that's what we used before. Hit accept. Some new settings will pop up. Before we do anything, make sure that this one is our right number. Type in 111 and hit apply. Now there's a lot of settings here you can change, but I'm only going to go into a few of them. At the top here, go to general param. Here you will find some information about the sword. For example, power. You can set power to another number, which will be the strength of the item in game. I'm going to set it to 52. We can change life as well for the durability. I'm going to set that to 80. Make sure you hit save here at the bottom right. If you don't hit save and you go to a new tab, it will reset the settings. You can change some other settings here as well, but I recommend not doing that for now, since it might break the game. Go to text and change the name of the item. You can also set the description if you like. Make sure to hit save again or it won't save. Now we need to create an empty folder called content. Go back to the actor tool, go to file, save actor and save it to your content folder. The program will freeze for a bunch of seconds. But it will save some files as you see over to the left. We need all those. Go ahead and close the program now. Inside the content folder we have to add some more stuff. Add a new folder and call it model. Navigate to where your Breath of the Wild model files are and copy these three. Make sure they are in the model folder. We have to add another folder called UI. Make sure it's capitalized. Inside the UI folder, make another folder called stock item, also capitalized. Navigate to where your ICE files are located. Go to content, go to UI, and go to stock item. You want to find the item that belongs to your sword. In this case it will be 001. There it is. Copy this over. And put it in the stock item folder. 
Make sure to rename this to 111 or whatever your number is. To open this, open Switch Toolbox. Hit Open, Navigate, and open the icon, and expand. Make sure to give this the proper name on the right. Go over to the left and expand it. Expand textures as well. Right click on the texture and export. Don't left click on the texture because it crashes the program. Make sure you export it as a PNG image. Also, give it the right name. Now you can just edit it with any photo editing software and then just right click and replace it with that file. This is the inventory image in the game. Hit save and compress. Yep, close the program. Now to make our project ready for modding, we'll have to create a new empty folder and give it the following name. You can replace new sword with whatever item you are adding. Move the content folder inside of that new folder and create another folder called AOC, all lowercase. Inside the AOC folder, we want to create another empty folder and call it 0010. Inside that folder, we want to make another folder and call it pack, the capital. Make another folder next to it and call it map. Inside the map folder, we need a folder called main field. It's a capital M and a capital F. This is where our level files will go later. After we created that, let's move back to the root folder create a txt file, call it rules. Open up the txt file and write the following lines of text. You can replace sort name with whatever name you want your mod to be. And the description of your mod goes here. Save it and close it. This concludes the fourth part of our tutorial. In the next part, we're going to be adding the item to the game and making it visible inside the world. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This really helps out the channel.